Well, I've done my fair share of car videos, but for this video we're visiting a place that doesn't allow cars. Mackinac Island, Michigan. And yes, I believe it is pronounced Mackinac. That's what I was told, even though it's spelled like Mackinac. Since you are not allowed to drive to the island, you pretty much have to take a ferry to get there. So... I paid $36 for a ferry trip ticket, round trip, which the ticket agent was kind enough to tell me that they only sell round trip tickets, so there's no confusion on how you're going to get back. But anyway, decided to take the trip over to the island. By the way, I took my ferry ride from St. Ignace in the Upper Peninsula, and apparently one of the ferry companies, they used to have two operate out of there, I guess it got taken over shortly before I got there by the other one. So, apparently going forward, there's only going to be a Shepler's Ferry to get you to and from Mackinac Island from St. Agnes, but these are apparently some of the ferries owned by the former ferry company getting ready to undergo maintenance, I guess. Anyway, I found it to be awkward timing that such a takeover slash closing of the old company, whatever you want to call it, would occur right when the right before the tourist season has wrapped up for the summer. Now, once you're on the island, the primary modes of transportation are your feet, bicycle, and horse carriage. They do a pretty good job of cleaning up after the horses, but yes, there is a little bit of a smell, even though they try to get everything. Sometimes they miss stuff. That's one way to help identify the horse parking only. Now, unfortunately, my visit to the island was part of a broader trip, bigger vacation, where I was trying to cram a lot of things in. And I only stayed on the island for an hour and a half, just under two hours, before going back. I felt like I saw enough as far as getting to tell what the atmosphere was like and that sort of thing, but I should have budgeted more time. I think it would be okay to budget at least a full afternoon there. I did have enough time to eat out at a restaurant not too far from the dock and... I got to see Murdoch's Fudge in person. I ordered some fudge online from that establishment before the trip to see what it's like. And upon visiting the island, I held up the card that was in the fudge box. So that was kind of cool. Now as far as atmosphere... To me, it felt a little bit like visiting a theme park in a way. You know, just this, with the architecture, you know, the lack of cars, the, you know, just different. I would kind of describe it like that, a little bit like a theme park. Without the roller coaster rides, of course. I did not attempt to walk up to or take a horse taxi to the Grand Hotel, but I did see it from the ferry, so that counts, right? Well, thank you for watching, and I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea of some of the th things you can expect to see if you visit Mackinac Island, Michigan. Oh, by the way, even though you can't take your car to the island because they never repealed their old-timey law against horseless carriages. When the lake's frozen over during the winter, I've heard you can snowmobile to the island. 
should you choose to do that.